General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. For this week's lesson, let us explore how image is formed in spherical mirrors. There are two kinds of spherical mirrors, the concave and convex mirrors. If the reflecting surface is curved inward, it is a concave mirror. If the reflecting surface is curved outward, it is a convex mirror. For the mirror terminologies, let's consider the following. 1. Vertex V is the middle portion of the mirror. 2. Center of curvature C is the center of the sphere of which the curved mirror is a part. 3. Radius of curvature R is the distance of the center of curvature from the vertex. 4. Principal axis P is the line drawn passing through the vertex and the center of curvature. 5. Secondary axis S is a line drawn through the center of curvature to any part in the mirror. 6. Aperture A is the opening of the mirror. 7. Focus F is the point where the reflected rays meet. 8. Focal length F is the distance between the focus and the vertex. Now let us label the spherical mirror, based on the given mirror terminologies. For spherical mirrors with small opening, the focal length F is one half the radius of curvature. Now let's have the ray method of image formation. How can we construct, locate, and describe the image formed by spherical mirrors? To construct the image formed by spherical mirrors by the ray method, draw at least two of the following rays from point X on the object, see figure below. Ray 1 is an incident ray, parallel to the principal axis, and is reflected through the principal focus. Ray 2 is a ray traveling along a secondary axis, and passes through the center of curvature, which is reflected back along itself. Ray 3 is a ray that passes through the focus, and is reflected parallel to the principal axis. Let's review how to construct the ray method of image formation. Ray 1 is drawn parallel to the principal axis and is reflected, passing through the principal focus. Ray 2 is traveling along a secondary axis and passes through the center of curvature, which is reflected back along itself. Ray 3 passes through the focus and is reflected parallel to the principal axis. And then, the image formed is located at the intersection of the three rays. Let us describe the image formed, if the object is beyond the center of curvature C. As seen in the figure below, the image is smaller than the object, inverted, real, and located between the center of curvature C and the focus F. For the next example, let us describe the image formed, if the object is at the center of curvature C. As seen in the figure below, the image is same size as the object, inverted, real, and located at the center of curvature C. And for another example, let us describe the image formed, if the object is between the focus F and the vertex V of the mirror. As seen in the figure below, the image is larger than the object, erect, virtual, and located behind the mirror. And now that we have seen some examples of image formation in a concave mirror, what about the image formed in the convex mirror? 
As seen in the figure below, the image is smaller than the object, erect, virtual, and located behind the mirror. For your performance task number one, in a concave mirror, if the object is at the principal focus F, how will you describe the image? Draw the ray diagram. For your performance task number two, if the object in a concave mirror is between the center of curvature C and the principal focus F, how will you describe the image in terms of size, vertical orientation, type of image formed, and location? Draw the ray diagram. And here's the answer to the performance tasks. Goodbye and thank you for taking time to learn.